Okay, hello everyone. My name is Yapsara. Nice to meet you. I'm a general surgery resident from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and also a Makaski fellow. Was uh, done with a fellowship now, and I was a Makaski fellow for the past uh, one year, and uh, it was a nice experience for me and my friends to be involved with in the fellowship program, and uh, we were able to come up with this uh, research topic during our stay and. Uh, we decided to evaluate the uh, proper implementation of the surgery, surgery, uh, WHO surgical safety checklist in our hospital and uh, it, was a, it was a difficult research to be honest, especially in the data collection process, but we were able to go through it uh, together and we managed to, to present an abstract in the World Congress of Surgery in uh, Krakow. And, uh, so you all know the 19 item checklist is, uh, is, a, is a tool which is used in the OR to prevent uh, and uh, to reduce complications and mortality in the, in the OR and uh, if it's used properly, but only if it's used properly. So after introduction of this uh, checklist in our hospital, we were able uh, to evaluate uh, its proper implementation and uh, for this we designed uh, an observational study which used uh, WHO bars, which is a behavioral anchored rating scale, which uh, tries to evaluate whether the checklist is being used properly. So <clears throat> we chose around nine uh, subspecialty arts in the, in, the, uh, in the hospital and uh, we managed to follow and observe uh, operations uh, uh, for a total of one month. And uh, through this, we managed to observe 241 cases for in the nine different subspecialties. And after that, we tried to review 75 charts and try to see the results. So our results were the checklist was not being uh, totally uh, being performed in the emergency gynecologic and uh, uh, endourologic uh, units and the overall completion of the checklist was around 60 percent and uh, what was striking was uh, the checklist was being much more done by the constant late cases uh, the resident late cases which might be a little collinear with the fact that it's not being done with in the emergency case which is usually being performed in the middle of the night or late hours by residents and of the 75 charts viewed only, only around 27%, 27 were uh, fully completed, and nearly, nearly half of it was not being done. Uh, even though the checklist was being completed fully, it was not being done properly. Nearly half of uh, the cases. So, in conclusion, despite the importance of using the just surgical check, check, checklist in our hospital, it's not being properly implemented, and. Uh, uh, in the arts where it's performed, only the timeout portion is being properly, properly done. So we recommend uh, some sort of uh, training, structured training for the OR nurses, okay, anesthetists, and also surgeons, so that they can improve their uh, compliance to the proper implementation of the checklist. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you.